Hi, I'm Linda Garnett. I'm co-founder of Stellar Partnerships, and I'm a specialist in corporate partnerships. I think one of the most terrifying things to do is make that first contact with a new corporate partner. It's nerve-wracking. You want to make a really great first impression, and you certainly don't want to be ignored and have all your efforts end up in the delete bin. So how do you do that? Is there a secret formula for success? Let me share something with you. Here's the best recipe for success if you want to avoid being ignored by a new corporate partner. And it's this. You need a bucket load of self-interest mixed with a tiny teaspoon of inspiration. Sounds really counterintuitive, doesn't it? Because you're just dying to tell them all about your nonprofit. And tell them all about the great work you do and the programs that you run and the impact you have. But here's the thing, it's a competitive market out there and you need to get their attention. So you need to lead with benefits, things that are going to be valuable for that corporate. And they're different for every corporate. So it could be they want great content for their digital channels. They might want really innovative ways to engage their staff. They might want to attract new audiences or win new customers. Do your homework and figure out what are their pain points? What are their hot spots? And lead with something that's going to pique their interest. And that tiny teaspoon of inspiration, that's where you really get to bring your organisation to the fore and give them something that intrigues them, something that maybe they haven't heard about before. So, for example, you might lead with, hey, Corporate X, congratulations on being such a great place to work and winning that recent award. Did you know that one in five of your employees will experience poor mental health in the next 12 months? Let's meet and I can tell you about some of the ways we can work together to improve their well-being. So lead with self-interest. Sprinkle over that teaspoon of inspiration. Leave them intrigued. Leave them wanting more. Leave them wanting a meeting with you, which is really what you're after in that first meeting. Here's the thing to remember. Your corporate partner is a really busy person. They've probably got an inbox of hundreds and their meeting diary is absolutely chockers full. So here's the difficult thing. You've got 15 seconds to get their attention. 15 seconds before they choose to read your email, delete it, or forward it on to someone who's more relevant. Doesn't leave a lot of time, does it? It means you've got to be short and succinct. You've got to get to the point. You've got to lead with benefits and resist that temptation to talk about yourself the whole time. Otherwise, you look like the world's worst speed date. You've turned up in a wedding dress expecting a marriage on the first date. Leave them wanting more and give them just enough that they'll be intrigued to have a meeting with you and you can develop that partnership opportunity further. Remember these tips when you're making your first contact and best of luck getting that first meeting.